In this lesson, I wanted to show you how you can use the branching feature inside of HubSpot automations to route the outcome of your phone call to different places. So if you're using a CRM, depending on the outcome of the phone call, you're going to want your automation to do different things. So I'm going to show you how you can do exactly that now. Once you're inside your workflow, we're just going to use this simple one now. We've got a manual enrollment trigger, but in exchange for this, you can use a form a webhook or a filter or a list in HubSpot. We have an assistant already plumbed in. This is a real estate assistant to follow up with leads and ask about what they're trying to do, what house they're trying to buy, the budget, etc. Now, to do our first branch, after the phone call happens, we want to figure out what's going to happen after that, depending on how the phone call went. We're going to press this add button and we're going to press branch. Then we're going to press one property or action output so the output of our make ai phone call action is going to be what we're going to branch on click select property select enroll contact and click action outputs next we're going to do call status under here we're going to select create a separate branch for each value in this property select that click next and now we see we have six branches already added for us. We have the outcome is busy, completed, failed, hang up on voicemail, left voicemail, or no answer. Press save, and this automatically gets added to your workflow for you. Let's zoom out a bit so you can see. You might have to zoom in if you're watching this tutorial because it's about to get a little bit spidery. So now we have all these branches here. We can add in different emails, different tasks, different callback features after this if you want to. If it's been left a voicemail, we can add those notes back into the contacts activity. We can maybe ping a message in Slack if the call is completed and the call went well. But there's also one more branch we want to add. Click on completed, the plus button. Go to branch again, repeat what we did before. Action output. Select the property, back to the action outputs again. And then we're going to select end call reason. Again, select the separate branch and press next. Now we can figure out why did the call end? The, sure, the call is completed, but what happened after that? The agent goodbye, the human goodbye, the human pickup cutoff, max duration, undefined or voicemail. These, again, are more detailed completion stages of the call. So you can add tasks, you can alert team members, whatever it is you want to do, but this is what you need to create a complete automation and a complete assistant to handle your business case. So let's press save. And you can see this branch has now automatically been added. You can add additional steps under each branch, but here is what it kind of starts to look like now. So we have a trigger coming in at the top coming down to make a phone call, branching based off of the call status, if it's busy, completed, failed, etc. If it was completed, now you have these additional options down here. You can see how powerful this can become in HubSpot when combined with your contact data, with your company data, and also roping in team members to do follow-ups or callbacks or adding notes to the contact. So hopefully this gives you a good introduction to branching in HubSpot and I look forward to seeing what you build.